Hello. I'm glad you could join me tonight for tonight's Bible update. So I'm going through the Bible. Uh, nearly done with the book of Numbers. And uh, they numbered the people again after uh, the children of Israel uh, played the harlot with the daughters of Moab. Uh, as the king of Moab wanted to uh, bring a curse upon the children, and as it was, uh, Balaam would not curse the children of Israel, but then he advised the king, uh, Balak, that if he sent his uh, women into the children of Israel, that that would bring a curse upon them. And, uh, and, and 24,000 Israelites were put to death for sleeping with the daughters of Moab. And uh, God was very upset because they weren't supposed to intermarry with anyone else. That they were supposed to only marry Jewish people. And, uh, and that keep that lineage pure going into the promised land. And even when they're in the promised land, forbidden to marry any of the foreigners. And so uh, uh, it was a terrible thing for the children of Israel uh, to lose 24,000 uh, at that time. And uh, that sin uh, came upon Balaam and uh, was really a curse for him. Uh, God says he, he would bless those who bless Israel, or thee, it says, bless those who bless thee and curse those who curse thee. And, uh, and so Balaam brought the curse upon his own head. Uh, and we'll see that he ends up dying in one of the battles. I can't remember. We'll get there, though. <laughs> uh, and uh, so looking into the book of John, we're in the second chapter of John. Uh, Jesus goes with his mother up to a wedding in Canaan. And uh, the uh, wedding feast was several days to go. And they ran out of wine, and Jesus' mother uh, asked Jesus, or tells Jesus, uh, they've run out of wine here. We need to do something. And, uh, and Jesus said to him, and I think uh, the way it translates, probably not the... Uh, way that Jesus talked to his mother but it says what does what does this have to do with me woman <laughs> it's like oh my goodness but uh it's just uh the tra the translation didn't uh properly convey it in a way that is is honoring as Jesus was for his mother I'm sure but uh, you could tell that Mary knew that Jesus wasn't upset with him because she told the servants, do whatever Jesus tells you to do. And uh, Jesus told the servants, fill these large jars up in, uh, with water. And there were purification j jars that were probably six feet tall. Uh, they held 25 to 30 gallons each. So there was maybe 150 to uh, 180 gallons of water. And uh, Jesus said, take a pitcher from one of the jars, take it over the master of the feast and pour it out for him. And when the water was poured out of that pitcher, it was wine. And Jesus turned the water into wine at that uh, wedding feast and uh, when the when the master of the feast uh, 
drank that, he called over the bridegroom and said, usually the best wine is served first, but you ser saved the best wine until now. So when the people are, are well drunk, <laughs> they won't know the difference. <laughs> then you get out the, the, the Ripple or the Mogan David, you know, MD 2020. <laughs> but uh, as it was, though, uh, this was uh, the best wine, and I'm sure it was. Jesus made that water into wine. Uh, and uh, so they went up from there uh, to Capernaum and stayed a few days. Then uh, it says that Jesus went up to the Passover, and this was the first Passover of his ministry. And uh, he went in and found them selling in the temple, and the court of the Gentiles was totally taken up with uh, animals that they were being uh, selling for sacrifice, and uh, and that were money changers because you couldn't use your money that had Caesar on the coin in the temple that you had to use the temple coins. And uh, so uh, they charged people exorbitant fees to do this, and they made it into a marketplace. People were making a lot of money off of this, and uh, it infuriated Jesus because the Gentiles had no place to go in the temple. And uh, so the commoners, like you and I, they used all that space up for making it a marketplace. And Jesus was upset. He made a whip out of cords and drove out all the animals and turned over the coin tables. And it said, uh, uh, the disciples said they remembered uh, when they read later uh, that the scripture said, the zeal for his house consumed the Lord. Uh, and uh, so he did have a zeal for it. It says, my father's house shall be a house of prayer. And uh, you've made it into a marketplace. And so he was upset. And that is, uh, oh, <laughs> the uh, authorities asked him, what authority do you uh have or can you show that uh, shows that you have authority to do such things here and he said you destroy this temple and I'll raise it up in three days and he was talking about his body uh, but they told him you know it took like 46 years to build the temple how are you going to raise it up in three days and uh He did raise up from the grave in three days after they destroyed his temple. And uh, praise God for that. We talked about that in Luke just two days ago. And uh, now we're going through the book of John. And tomorrow we're going to have a, a visit, a uh, visitor to Jesus that we talked about. Uh, when uh, it was, oh, uh, let's see, one of the disciples went and asked Pilate uh, to uh, have the body of Jesus, and another of the Gospels said, and he took Nicodemus, with him to prepare the body of Jesus for the burial. And uh, uh, that other disciple was Nicodemus, and Nicodemus is going to visit Jesus for the first time. He was a teacher in, in Israel. He's going to visit Jesus for the first time in John chapter 3. And it was to him that he told uh, 
what we know as John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but hath everlasting life. That's the most famous of all scriptures, and I hope you read John chapter 3 today. And uh, I praise God for all those in my friends group that may see this, and uh, for all those in YouTube world that may stumble upon it someday. Uh, that uh, you'd stir yourself up in the Lord. Uh, I think it was Paul told Timothy, stir up the gift that has been planted within you. We all are given gifts and some lay dormant forever. Stir it up and be used of the Lord today in Jesus' name. And be blessed now.